what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so i'm talking about jurassic world dominion in this video here again today jurassic world 3 chris pratt did recently have an interview or he was a guest on the today show i believe where he made some comments about the film and was going into a talk about how this is the end of the franchise how this will be the final movie how it's like a culmination of all the things that we've gotten over the past five movies now this sixth one will be the thing that's going to close out the series i've already talked about in previous videos how they made it clear that this is supposed to just be the end of the jurassic era not intended to be the end of the franchise but of course things could change as it pertains to how it performs at the box office but going into chris pratt he stated that 30 years in the making this is the sixth jurassic film and it's the end of the franchise and then he was also asked by the person he was being interviewed by or he was on the panel with is this is it really the end so you know that question is it really the end i'll just give my answer first i don't think it's the end i think what's going to happen is they're going to take a very extensive break to figure out what they want to do post jurassic era and then go into a more concrete plan that way they're not just looking to make another movie instantly without a clear plan in mind they want to take an approach like how they took with this trilogy but he continued on i really do think is the end yeah you got the legacy cast back sam neil lord dern jeff goldblum plus the cast of jurassic world all our storylines converging in a way that is very much a finale so again we know this is going to be treated like a finale type of thing but what, what has come out already previously is is pertaining to the fact that it's supposed to be the end of the series as we know it and i've made it clear now if this actually is the end of the series no more movies at all i'm fine with that but what i think they're going to do is stop calling these movies jurassic park or jurassic world they're not going to call it jurassic anything it's supposed to be the end of the jurassic era i think there's going to be an extensive break in between this movie and whatever they do in the future it'll be longer than what we've had in between dominion and kingdom it'll be longer than what we had between world and fallen kingdom it'll be probably eight years maybe another decade maybe less than that because i know a lot of you wouldn't want to wait that long but i think it's definitely something that needs to be longer than the wait we've had in between dominion and kingdom if you want to kind of send home the fact that you're not just trying to keep making countless movies left and right i think they're just going to go away you won't hear anything about jurassic park other than of course people just acknowledging the, the the impact it had and the anniversary of certain movies you might see chris pratt and all these other people that are involved with the series come out in interviews and talk about how grateful they are with their time spent with it and then many years after this one and the iteration of jurassic park as we knew it that'll be done it'll be respected but we're going to bridge into a new path a film that's still a part of the same universe it's not going to be titled jurassic anything it's going to be something related to dinosaurs and we'll be exploring a mapped out post jurassic era universe where humans and dinosaurs are coexisting it'll be very much so planet of the apes or something like that i think that's the approach that they are going to take i don't think that the series as a whole will be done again if it is done i'll be fine with that we have six movies six movies that i'm assuming are going to be fun for the most part all five of them are very fun to watch they're all very entertaining again the one that really i think is the most boring is the lost world that's not to say that the lost world is a worse movie than jurassic park 3 i can go over reasons in a different video as to why the lost world is still better than jurassic park 3 but i still have more fun watching jurassic park 3 for other reasons pertaining to some of the things that involved with the characters that that are there um and finding some en enjoyment in the stupidity of certain things that happen in that movie because jurassic park 3 is a low point for the series but this franchise as a whole after jurassic world dominion i don't think it's done i i hear what chris pratt is saying i just don't think that of course it's going to be over it'll be over for the franchise as we know it i think that we will live up to what has already been expressed to us from everyone else or from other people involved with this film and with this franchise that have made it clear that this is just supposed to be the end of the jurassic era that's also what the marketing has kind of been amping up that this is the end of the jurassic era he's come out and said it's supposed to be the end of the franchise he and i think it's important to remember that he said he he thinks it's the end of the franchise well it's one thing to think have you been told that by someone uh because from what other people involved have stated this is supposed to be the end of the jurassic era meaning that anything after this won't be titled jurassic this or jurassic that it'll just be titled something related to dinosaurs most likely 
it'll be in the same universe and even still if you would like to have the same impact i think like a strong impact where you have a movie people see is about dinosaurs but they're not too sure if it's jurassic park or not i think you'd have to be gone for a substantial amount of time that's why i think being gone for at least close to another decade would be beneficial if they can accomplish it in a way that is shorter than a decade i'll be surprised to see that but like announce something but even then of course if universal is the one behind it they're gonna know it's jurassic park i just think that there should be a thing a scheme done where universal announces a new dinosaur type movie but they initially kind of kind of hide the fact that it's actually a jurassic park movie they hide the fact that this is just the, the seventh entry in that universe they try to make it seem like you're doing something completely fresh something new nothing to do with jurassic park and then bam you get your confirmation that this actually is a jurassic park movie when you go out of your way to watch it in the theater now of course this would also rely heavily on you not having too many things associated with those films in this movie so that require i guess new creative team a completely new cast no appearances by anyone that we've already seen in this series uh unless they would be surprise cameos but i think that would just be a cool way to kind of market a future movie that's not titled jurassic this or jurassic world that jurassic park that um uh, they could explore that in a way where people are drawn to go check the movie out to see if it's your jurassic park movie then have their answer confirmed when they sit down and watch it in theaters or of course you could have leaks go on where you have a spider-man no way home scenario and it's pretty much confirmed before everyone watches it but then people just still go out and watch to see how great it all comes out to be the other thing i was going to disclose in this video for those of you who are looking forward to like some of the first reactions to the movie the first reactions to the movie are not going to be available online or anywhere social media reactions or reviews won't be available till june 9th not june 9th june 8th at 12 p.m pacific time which will be 3 p.m eastern time depending on what time zone you're in so you're not going to see any reactions i know i saw someone from collider who's seen the movie they're not going to share anything until june 8th i just want to share that with you guys for any of you guys wondering when you can see first reactions but let me know what you guys think about chris pratt's words down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video